I'm Remy, also known as Remy Clog on TikTok, and this is my first ever YouTube video. Just had to change the light in there, but I'm used to the fast pace of TikTok, so you're going to have to bear with me. I'm used to just spewing words straight off the bat with no introduction, but I still want to get to the point quickly today because that's just me. I don't like waiting around, so I don't think you should have to either. So, how I grew on TikTok. I'm going to give a little backstory. So I've been on TikTok since the end of August last year. So that's around four and a half months. And in that time, I've grown to just over 107,000 followers. So I thought I'd share my tips and tricks because not long ago, that amount of followers seemed completely unreachable to me. Like, I mean, not in a million years unreachable. I remember when a thousand seemed impossible. And then a few weeks in, I was almost at that number and I called my dad, I was so excited. And I was like, oh my God, I've nearly got 1,000 subscribers. And now I've got 100 times that. It honestly blows my mind. Like, I literally started from zero followers. And I used to hate it when people would say this, but I honestly believe now anyone can do it. Okay, so first and foremost, you need to have a sit down with yourself and really analyse why it is that you want to do this. Social media in general, I mean, whatever the platform might be. Is it because you want to have loads of money and have millions of followers? Or is it because you genuinely feel called to share? And are you passionate about whatever that is? Like, really passionate. Do you know it will be of value and enrich the life of others? And don't get me wrong, I think anyone would be lying if they said they weren't attracted to the financial possibilities of social media. And we'll get into that later. And I won't lie to you. Being able to make a better life for my family, being free of money worries, it's a massive motivator of mine. But it can't be the only motivator. So have a think about what your videos are potentially going to add to the lives of your viewers. Can you offer humour, comfort, education, inspiration, motivation? There are so many avenues you can go down. And listen, when you can combine all of those things in one video, you've hit the jackpot. Videos with heart and humanity, they make the world a better place. Okay, so getting into the nitty gritty now. I think most people come into the process thinking, where do I even start? They know what they want to do, they have loads of ideas in mind, but getting started and knowing how to go about it is hard. And it can leave people feeling paralysed, especially if you're a perfectionist. You know, you want everything planned out beforehand, I get it. But my advice would be to just start. Just start making videos. They don't have to be perfect. Just start testing the water, seeing what works for you, seeing how people respond, and most importantly, how you feel about the content you're putting out. How it makes you feel is so important. Do you feel like, yes, I'm buzzing about this. I would watch this if I was scrolling. Because that's the feeling you wanna have. It might take a while to get there. You won't get there straight away. And there'll be times you want to give up and you'll just think, I'm not cut out for this. Especially if your videos don't have that much engagement to start with. Or you post a video that you're really proud of and that you put a lot of work into. And it doesn't do as well as you expected it to. And let me tell you, that is going to happen. It's just part of the process. It is very rare that someone will become a viral sensation overnight. And honestly, you really don't want that. And I'll go into why that is later on. But yeah, it takes perseverance and consistency and belief in yourself and what you want to share. Trust me, what you want to put across does have value. It will resonate because it takes all sorts to make a world. We're all different and you'll find your people eventually. TikTok's algorithm is great that way in the sense that it groups people with particular interests together and it pushes that particular content their way. And out of all the social media platforms, TikTok is the one that's easiest to grow on. So be hopeful. This is exciting. And if I can do it, you can. When I first started making videos, I didn't dare speak in them. Not like I do now. And now my voiceovers have become a kind of trademark of mine and the reason people keep coming back to watch. But I hated my voice at the start. And at the start, I used to just use that TikTok kind of voice effects thing to say what I wanted to say, which to be honest, wasn't a lot at all. I said about a few words. It wasn't until I started speaking in my videos that they started to really take off. I was so nervous at the start. I didn't think people would want to listen to me, but I later found out that people found my voice soothing and my story is relatable. So something I've learned is you can't go into this holding parts of yourself back. And a little heads popped up there. 
My one year old's just woken up from his nap. Ooh, one second. Life's short and social media is an amazing opportunity. So just be yourself. People want real, they want genuine. And I think in 2023, we're all collectively done with fake on social media. Right, so I'm just gonna get myself a little drink and I'll be right back. I'm absolutely obsessed with fizzy drinks. Like last year, I was finishing off like six packs of the a day. I know that's bad. And I'm trying to form new healthy habits, but going cold turkey for me, it just turns me into a goblin. It's not worth it. So I've switched up the normal size cans for the little dinky cans and I thought, well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? I can't do the, the zero sugars. I really don't like the taste. Baby steps, guys, I'll get there. Okay, do you see what I did there? That was an example of my next piece of advice. Inject your personality into your videos. Tell people stories, share personal anecdotes, talk to your audience as if you were talking with a mate because essentially you are. People like people they can relate to, who show them that they're human too. Because a lot of the time on social media, we're drip fed this perfect aesthetic, perfect people who all have got their stuff together. I find it really hard not to swear. I swear so much on my TikToks and I'm trying to hold myself back because I know it's not the same on YouTube, but oh, nearly slipped then. But yeah, of course there is a certain audience that wants to watch that kind of, I call it unobtainable aesthetic. But most of the time, people just want someone who keeps it real. You don't have to be perfect to thrive on social media. Quite the contrary, really. I've been watching these videos back because obviously this is my first YouTube video. Why am I bobbing my head like a bobble head, please? Why am I doing this? Tip number four. Are we on number four? I don't know. I've not really been counting. When I used to watch how to grow your TikTok videos, you know, the ones on YouTube, because I love that kind of stuff. I love watching people's growth stories and success stories. But a common tip was always to niche down, find a subject and never deviate from it. And I do agree to a certain extent, but I would replace niche down with find your vibe. I originally started just doing speed cleaning videos. Then I changed to doing speed cleaning videos, but with little story times and chats over the top. And then I decided, you know what? This isn't all I'm about. So I branched out and I went into also doing things like postpartum stuff, motherhood stuff, day in your lives. Uh, what else do I do? I do a bit about body image, but yeah. Granted, that was when I became a bit more established, but you don't have to box yourself in. I absolutely hate that idea. We're not niches, we're complex human beings with layers. Eventually, when people get a feel for who you are and you find your community, some people who originally came for a certain niche will happily cross over into your other videos. And that's because they've grown to like you for you. They like to hear what you have to say. They find comfort, reassurance, a laugh in whatever it is you post. I'm still doing the bobblehead thing. Why do I have any friends? I don't know. But yeah, obviously there will be people who only came for a certain thing and you may well lose followers, but are those really the followers you wanna have? People that are fickle and jump ship? Nah. Another tip that always crops up in those how to grow videos is, just had to change the lighting again, sorry. But yeah, it's make sure you post so and so times a day, three times a day, five times a day, whatever it is. And I think that is horrendous advice. You post when you are called to, when it feels right, and when you genuinely have a video that you are, <laughs> that you are proud of. Even if that means just posting once a week, I sometimes post twice a week, sometimes once a week, and I even take a week off at the end of every month to be present and spend time with my family. My channel hasn't suffered in the slightest and I still grew. Don't let people scare you into burning yourself out posting all the time. And the issue with posting constantly is not only can it be quite irritating for yourself and for the viewer, it's quality over quantity all the way. Take your time to focus on making one video great rather than blasting out a whole bunch of mediocre videos just because you feel like you need to do that to feel relevant, to stay relevant, sorry. You don't. I've been guilty of it too though. I remember at the start, when I'd not posted for a while, I'd hit a wall, I felt uninspired, whatever the reason. And I'd just post something random for the sake of it. And I didn't feel happy with it at all. I didn't get that joyful feeling or a feeling of accomplishment. Quite frankly, I gave myself the ick with them. And I'd always end up deleting them because they wouldn't do well. And then that would end up angering the algorithm because TikTok hates when you delete videos. So just a tip there. So in my opinion, it's better to post one good quality video a week rather than spam ones you're not proud of. Okay, next tip. Don't strive for a big following overnight. 
It is so easy to go viral on TikTok, but it's not always what you want. It's a level playing field when it comes to visibility on TikTok, which is great, especially for small creators. But the issue with viral videos is they can attract unwanted attention. And I know they say all press is good press, but you'll inevitably get tons of hate comments, people arguing in the comments, people reporting your video. The arguing in the comments, I will admit, will push your video out to a bigger audience, but it might not be the audience that you want. It will be people who aren't invested in you as a person or a creator, and people that are just there because everyone else is. It is far better to grow slowly and organically and grow a group of genuinely loyal and enthusiastic followers, followers who are there because they just like you. And this tip isn't a tip per se, but more of a warning. If you don't have thick skin, do not do this. The amount of hate you'll get on TikTok is next level. It comes with the territory, but people can be so mean when they're hiding behind a screen or a phone. Ruthless. I have had my parenting insulted, my kids, my house, my boyfriend, my appearance. Anything they can think of, people are going to insult you with. On two separate occasions, two different people have said I look like Louis Capaldi. <laughs> <laughs> but it can make even the most stoic and thick skinned people feel low some days. So if you don't think that's something you're gonna be able to deal with, if it's gonna affect your self-esteem and mental health, don't do it. It's not worth your peace, it really isn't. In this day and age, it's easy to forget that social media isn't real life and it's easy to get lost in it. And this is my last and favorite tip. And then after that, I'm gonna tell you about what I've earned on TikTok so far. My ultimate tip is gratitude. Now, this is a subject that makes me come alive. I could talk about it for hours. Gratitude, visualization, manifestation, mindset. These are all topics I'm gonna to talk about a lot in my upcoming videos, but for now, I'm gonna focus on gratitude. You need to be grateful in order to go anywhere in life. Stripped down to basics, you need to be grateful for the phone in your hand, for the fact internet exists, for the fact social media exists and the opportunities in your path because this mindset can take you to places you wouldn't even imagine. When it comes to your account specifically, you need to be grateful whenever someone gives you a follow, a like, a comment, a share, anything. Even if you only get one like on your video, that person took the time out of their day to press like and encourage you, and you need to recognize how special that is. If you're sat there moping thinking, ooh, only one person, ooh, I deserve more than this, I hate to break it to you, but no you don't. And I think you should take a break from social media, work on your attitude and come back later. Every person that interacts with your channel deserves your gratitude. Every time someone comments, you should be buzzing. Because these are the people that are going to help you grow. These are the OGs of your channel. And these are the people that are most likely to stick with you all the way. So thank them, interact with them. They didn't have to take the time out of their day. Over time, as you grow, which I need to reiterate will probably take some time, You'll get these fair weather followers and people that follow just because they see that you've got a big following. Those people will come. But it's the people who've been there since day one. They're the reason you are where you are. At every stage in your social media journey, you need to stay humble and remember that if it weren't for people supporting you, you would not be where you are. When I sit and think about how far I've come on TikTok in such a short space of time, I could burst with gratitude. And even more so when I think that some people resonated so much with my channel that they followed me here to YouTube to show their support. And if you're one of those people watching, I cannot express to you how grateful I am. Thank you. And I want to take you every step of the way on this new YouTube journey and obviously continue sharing about my TikTok journey. I want to help people to learn and I want to be transparent too because these are the things I would have loved to have seen when I was just starting out. So with that in mind, this is what I've earned so far in four months on TikTok. It's not much, guys. TikTok pays about 2p per thousand views, and in my lowest month, I've earned about £27, and in my best month, I've earned about 125 And that was with about 11 million views. But that's money we didn't have before. It's money we wouldn't have if it weren't for TikTok. And this is just from view revenue, not from ads. I've been approached to do ads before quite a few times, but it's just felt disingenuous to me. You can make a lot of money with ads, but if I'm gonna promote something to my followers, it's gonna be something I truly believe in. Accepting ads just for the sake of money will affect your credibility, and it's not worth it in my opinion. But anyway, this little extra bit of money on the side makes such a difference in my life, and it's only gonna get better and better. We live paycheck to paycheck, I'm not gonna to lie to you. 
And this extra money from TikTok has meant me not worrying about going into my unarranged overdraft. It means we can treat ourselves to a takeaway or a day out without feeling guilty. My work shoes had been broken for months. Every time I went out to the yard and it had been raining, I'd come home after my shift with soggy, wrinkly feet and it was ugh. But I couldn't prioritise buying myself shoes over things that the kids might need. But now I've got new shoes because of TikTok. They might seem like such small things to some people, but it literally means the world. And every month because of social media, it gets better and better able to be in this position and make a little extra bit on the side just for making videos that I love and helping people feel less alone I'm so grateful for that and I'm not going to take that opportunity for granted I have so many goals for 2023 and for the rest of my life and it's just going to go up and up from here I can just feel it I honestly feel so excited and determined and I'd love for you to follow along and see what happens and yeah I hope you gain some insight and inspiration from this video and if you did, please let me know in the comments and give the video a like. It would really help. And also let me know what kind of topics you'd like me to go into next. And thank you for watching.